are you just completely impervious to getting hit? Maybe I should have bottom pixel lined that up. That was trash. But I'm happy to know the magic strat's good. So I guess even though he carries less bottles, he can do similar damage, which is kind of cool. It was like an instant super jump turn. That was really kind of difficult. <laughs> Did not anticipate ever getting to do that. Oh boy. Gave me all this stuff. Still like this. Dude, this seems solid. He's having to mess with all the mountain stuff. Sure. At least those guys get hit in the corner. <laughs> When's Golden Axe 3? Probably never. I don't enjoy that game. Could see messing with Golden Axe 2 on Genesis at some point, but unfortunately that does require my Genesis to be in commission. Right now it's, uh... HD Retrovision cables are not doing so great. And I refuse to play that in anything but RGB. This Genesis and Composite looks terrible and sounds worse. Feel free to not at me on that. Uh, it was never released in the States. Unless it was maybe on the Sega channel, I could be wrong about that. That was how I played it. It was on the, was it the Sonic Collection, the PS3 version? It was, uh, it's not very good. Like, it's, it feels super bland, and I can think of at least one overpowered character. The Panther dude is amazing. Everybody else just feels like they don't belong. A lot of screaming. I'll get to die. Oh. Yeah, boring beat em ups are no bueno. Uh, I don't know, I never finished it. Like, there are a handful of beat em ups that I wish I enjoyed more if they weren't so freaking boring. That's, that's essentially how I feel about Final Fight 2. All respect to Rotor Storm, you know, being as ma amazing as he is at that game, but yeah, I just. Final Fight 2 just doesn't interest me in wanting to play it at all. Uh, Battletoads and Battle Maniacs is another example. That might be the most boring Battletoads game ever made. Like, I'm fine with a game being difficult. Being boring is not okay. Yeah, but Battletoads and Double Dragon isn't boring, though. The Asteroids level is really out of place, but like, the game itself, like, the first three stages are all fine. And the stages after the Asteroids level are fine as well. Yeah, that was pretty good. I've beaten it a number of times. Um, I do think the game has severe character imbalance. Like, I think Maki is just terrible. Like, just unplayable beat-em-up character. It's not just because she's the worst Carlos, she's actually just bad. She is, honest to goodness, just completely deplorable as a character and unplayable. Nice. Like, I don't know if she's the worst female character ever to beat him up, but she's definitely up there. I'm sure if Scotty were around, they could throw around some uh, some names from Guardians, but man, Maki just, oh god, she's awful. <laughs> she's so bad. But don't get me wrong, I, I enjoy my waifu and my beat most as much as the next person, but man, friggin' Maki just, oh god, she's so terrible. 
like guy in Final Fight 1 isn't good, but he at least has some merit. Like he has like the easiest infant of the game, so he's at least playable for that reason. He's much worse than Cody. So like you're better off learning the game with Cody than you are with him, but you can beat it with Guy just to or you can try to clear it with Guy just to say like, you know, I want to see the game with Guy or whatever, but Maki just isn't worth the time you put into her. Guy also redeems himself in Final Fight 3. You know, Final Fight 3 guy is phenomenal. Yeah, if uh, if Guy had knife proficiency, I think he'd actually be able to get somewhere. But... Yeah. The fact that he's forced to throw knives is pretty rough. Like, Hagar at least has some uniqueness in that game. He's probably the hardest character to play overall, but... Or at least the most challenging. But... There's at least a uniqueness to him. Whereas Cody's just inherently very good. Like he's just an amazing beat him up character. Boo. We can get a dash. That would be great. There we go. Alright, so it took some damage, which I'm not real happy about. Wait for me. Yeah, that definitely doesn't happen often. Hey, what's up, Manzig? Thank you so much for the good luck. Turns out when you give him really good properties on his uh, on his mechanics, balanced characters can be good, and suddenly they're not balanced anymore. Like, oh, we'll give him proficiency with a knife that no other character has. Instant best character. Like oatmeal. I think from here I'm just gonna do like just no miss attempts. Maybe if I get to the finale with Axe Battler and things are looking okay, if I'm taking a death, I might go for it, but I don't know. I'm definitely gonna try and prioritize no miss here. Come on. Should have done the stab, but that's on me. What you doing? That was good. As soon as I see salmon, I'm hitting it. Too early on that last one. Nice. All this. Yeah, that's awesome. The the gremlin being there prevented the skeleton from spawning, and that's really cool. Just go ahead and fire away. Oh, that didn't kill them. That could be bad. That's bad. Run. Give me my damn Dagrin. And stay down. GG. Good stuff. Alright, I think I may finally be getting the hang of this game. That stage was just very, very good. Like, 
final boss gauntlet was like certainly good, but everything up until then, like I could not probably be happier with that stage. That stage was just excellent. I was a little disappointed the skeletons didn't die from the magic attack, but yeah, no, no real complaints. That was just merely very good. What's up, Smart Tart? Thank you for the GGs, Empty Eyes, Spider, and Polly. And now for Great Axe, the movie. Thanks for the GG, Robin Cat. Alright, I guess it's Gimless' turn, and then I can turn off this game for a bit. Thanks for the GG, Green. Lost Survivor. Oh, it's Last Survivor, sorry. <laughs> I love Gimless' running animation. 